we got another crazy sap sucker shooting at people. What? Well, I'll be God. I say just about anything. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and thank you for stopping by to see San Faye today after the 4th of July. Hope y'all had some good barbecue, because I did. Now, people, I think there's a new trend going around. Let's see how many people we can shoot. Let's see how many people we can kill, get rid of. Let's see. Then you gotta ask yourself though, why? Why is this happening? I still think it's had something to do with trying to take away your gun rights. Now this young man in Highland Park, Illinois, shot, what, six people? Wounded a whole lot more, over two dozen people? Why would he do that? He was 22 years old. Why would he do such a thing? Well, we're going to talk about that. But before I do, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? Do that for me and watch the whole video, y'all. I told y'all that helps me out in the algorithm. It really does. Watch the entire video. Thank you so very much for the people who do. And thanks to the people who donate to my PayPal and Cash app. I sure do appreciate it. Because like right now, I don't have a 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours, so I don't get paid. So thank you, people. Mwah. I love you. I love you. Anyway, move right along. Don't forget to go to TimberLilyCreations.com, okay? Mugs, cups, can coasters, and more coming soon. And cooking with Sandra Faye. Y'all know y'all need to learn how to cook, some of y'all. All right, y'all. You know, this kind of upset me. It really did, you know. This was the 4th of July. People outside celebrating the 4th of July parade. Later on, they were going to see fireworks. You know, having fun with their kids and family. Then somebody just had to go ruin it, y'all. Somebody. I guess, I don't know, maybe. Maybe he don't like the 4th of July. But I don't think that's it. This was a young white dude, 22 years old. Okay? Now, I know a lot of black folks, they don't feel like, you know, the 4th of July should be celebrated, okay? Only Juneteenth, because that's really, that's really our 4th of July. I don't celebrate June 19th, I celebrate July the 4th, okay? That's the one I know about, okay? I don't care what y'all say, you black people coming over here, you know, get mad, I don't care, okay? I'm going to celebrate the 4th of July, all right? Day of Independence. It is the day of independence. Moving right along. I don't know, know about June 19. Maybe I can put it on down in the comment section. But hey, I'm just telling you. All right. Now, anytime someone can go out and shoot a whole bunch of people, at least he tried. Basically, just kill anyone. Anytime someone can do that, most likely they kind of what in the head. They kind of cuckoo. They got mental problems. They can't be a sane person. They can't be a sane. They, they are insane. Why would this 22-year-old do that? And not only that, where did he get the weapons? Where? This was expensive assault rifle. Why rifles, they said. How could he buy that? He's 22. Did he steal it from his parents? Or did he steal it from his friend's house, somebody's house? How did he get so... Oh, this would happen in the last shooting, right? At the school. Whole lot of expensive guns. Moving right along here. Here from Fox 2032 in Chicago. Highland Park mass shooting leads to cancellation of July the 4th celebration across Chicago. So they cancel, I guess, the fireworks and stuff like that. Because, you know, they may be copycats, y'all. Copycats. You know, some people want to be famous. I don't know if this is what this young dude did. He's trying to be famous, trying to go down in history. Oh, yeah, he's going down in history. Not only that, he might be executed. I don't know if Illinois has death penalty, but 
I guess some people just don't care about their lives. They just don't. It said across the suburbs, let me, because I can't see, I'm kind of blind, they bitch y'all. Across the suburbs, other parade celebration fireworks were canceled after a celebration of American independence became a site of carnage in Holland Park. Yes, it did, y'all. I feel sorry. Y'all pray for them people, the family members who lost loved ones, and pray for the people who've been hurt, y'all. I know some of y'all don't pray. I know some of y'all don't. That's a crying shame. But other than that, from CNN, the worst news ever. <laughs> Fake news, as my man said. CNN. Suspect in custody after deadly Illinois July the 4th parade shooting. He in custody. They caught him, y'all. FBI, you know, there's something else. Let me tell you something, people. You can't get away with crimes these days. Do you hear me, young people? Do you hear me? They got cameras everywhere. As I was driving yesterday with my daughter, I was looking up and I saw cameras almost on every other pole. They know how to catch y'all. So stop doing crimes. You're going to get caught. Okay? The FBI, they have ways of finding you. I don't know if somebody had turned his name in or something, but somebody saw something. And they caught him. It said, what we know so far, at least six people were killed in a shooting in downtown Highland Park, Illinois, during a 4th of July parade, and dozens have been injured. Police have taken Robert E. Crimo III into custody Monday evening. He was being sought for his alleged involvement in the shooting. They said alleged involvement. So did he do it or he didn't? He said alleged involvement. They said it was only one person, so it had to be him, according to the FBI. It said the alleged gunman appeared to fire shots from a rooftop and a high-powered rifle has been recovered from the scene. You got to ask yourself, you shooting people. Why would you leave such an expensive high-powered rifle on the rooftop? Why you don't take it with you? I mean, you hid it to take it up on the rooftop. Why can't you hide it to take it back to your car, wherever you came from? Now, I don't know if this was a parking garage or whatever it was, but why couldn't he have done that? Why would you leave it behind? That lets me know something is wrong here. Y'all, this don't sound right. Also, it says witness describe frantically fleeing when they realized they heard gunshots, not fireworks. Highland Park is located about 25 miles north of Chicago, Illinois. That's where Beetlejuice live, y'all. That's where Beetlejuice live. You know, she's the mayor. Move right along. Here he is, right here. See you in again. Police have arrested a person of interest after a mass shooting at the 4th of July. Look at him. Young dude, 22 years old. Look at him. I don't know if there's tattoos in his face or what. I don't know. But he don't look like he look. Uh, he looks. Uh, he looks uh, like maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Because, you know, sometimes you can tell by a person look if there's something wrong with them. Sometimes you can tell. I don't know. Y'all, I'm not prejudiced. I'm not. I'm not. You hear me? You hear me? Talk to the white people who feel like I'm picking on them. I'm not picking on them. I pick on him if he was black, Asian, I don't care what he is. Chinese, I'm going to pick on him because he shouldn't have done what he should have done. Should have done. It says here, Crimo uncle said he saw no warning signs. Really not. That's what the families always say. No warning signs. An uncle of the man taken into custody in connection with the shooting told CNN he saw no warning signs that would prompt him to believe that the nephew would have been involved in such a tragedy. No warning signs whatsoever. It said Paul Cremo said he spoke at length to law enforcement Monday about his nephew, Robert Bobby Cremo. It seems like he is the suspect. That's what they said. I'm heartbroken. I'm so heartbroken, Paul said. It's the uncle now. There were no signs that I saw that would make him do this. There's no signs at all. He said, has not ever been, he said, has not ever seen Bobby engage in any violence or concerning behavior. I have nothing bad to say about him, he said. Paul said, he does not know of any political views held by his nephew. He don't know. 
Yo, he don't know. He's a great kid, he said. He usually on his own. He's a lonely, quiet person. He keeps everything to himself, yo. Those are the people. Google it, yo. Those are the people who are the crazy ones. Don't believe it? Look it up. Crazy ones. He saw no signs. So you think he's going to show you a sign that he's crazy, that he's going to go out and kill people? No signs. That is a sign right there. He keeps to himself. He's a loner. He's usually on his own. Most likely an introvert, y'all. Those are the people that shoot and kill people for no reason. All the ones go back and look at them, their personality, y'all. I'm not saying you should be aware of everybody that's a loner. Okay, stay on their own. I don't mean all of them do that, but some of them do. Even people that's outspoken and do crazy stuff. You see them do crazy stuff. They kill people too, and sometimes they don't. You know, I know some bad people. You never kill nobody. You know, they done been fighting, stealing, robbing, you know, car theft, stuff like that, but they don't kill nobody. You know, some of them stop and some of them don't. That's just it. It's an Illinois Cylinder taught. He taunts new gun legislation. See, here it comes. Said more need to be done. Here it comes. Do you think it's got something to do with this, y'all? That they trying to do something with the gun laws? They trying to infringe on your rights with the gun laws? Did somebody pay this boy? How do we know he's going to be in jail? How do we know? They said, you know, they're going to put him in jail. How do we know? They may have a trial and all this stuff like that. But you know, people do things, our government, they do things undercover. This guy going to be by himself in a cell somewhere, probably for years. I don't think he's going to be in the, the uh, what they call it, the community, whatever, you know, room with all the other inmates. I don't think he's going to be that. For all we know, they're going to disguise him, dye his hair and everything and send him off somewhere else. How do we know that that's not true? I'm not saying that it is, y'all. I'm just saying it can be done. You don't think our government has done that before? Huh? You don't think? Okay, I think this got something to do with gun laws. I'm going to play this little short video here for you right here. Peter Ducey, what he said. Which, which makes a whole lot of sense, y'all. I like Peter Ducey. I really do. You know, Fox, he's a reporter. And listen to what he said to the press secretary. I can't even remember her darn name. She's a cute little girl. But I, I whew, listen to this. The important thing here is the president wants Congress to take action and to act. But, okay, you got Chicago, for yep. example. They already have plenty of very strict gun laws, some of the strictest in the country. 47 people shot there over the Memorial Day weekend. Nine of them died. So which law would have prevented any of that? All right, well. Do, do we think that all these people in Chicago who are shooting each other are legally buying their guns? Right. They not buying their guns. The people that's killing and stealing, they not buying their, their guns, y'all. They getting them underground. They getting them from somebody. They stealing them, breaking in folks' house, stealing guns. They buying them illegally. People come across the border. They done already let all these people in here cross the border. People sell guns. They let them across the border. Don't you think illegal guns are coming across that border? Huh? They're not legal. The border wide open. Chicago, the toughest gun laws ever in the United States. What else can you put on them? What else? It didn't stop them. It did not stop this young man. Like I said, it's going to be the guns, the criminals. That uncle said he don't know, you know, that that dude hasn't done any crime or nothing. He ain't done anything wrong. I beg to differ. Everybody sins. We don't know what his sin, sins is. That uncle don't know everything about this young man. He don't. Okay? But something is wrong with this picture. I want y'all to go down in that comment section. I want y'all to tell me what y'all think is going on, really and truly going on. Something is wrong here. How did they catch him so fast? Okay. Why nobody in his family realized that he was mental? Something is wrong. Get him help. Why didn't nobody 
Nobody, anybody in his family. Do you think our government is involved in this? Do you think our government is hiring people to do stuff like this? Huh? Are they hiring people to do stuff like this? So they can take away your gun rights to infringe on you? Huh? Like I said, Chicago has the toughest gun laws ever. But this guy still got high power rifles to shoot up people. He tried to kill a whole bunch of them. I don't know why he stopped. Maybe somebody saw him. But something is wrong with this, y'all. Go on down there, come and say, you know that right, Trump? I ain't something wrong with this. Yeah, he knows. All right, y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and share this video. I know you're scared to share it. I know you're scared, but do it anyway. Do it anyway. You got to have some guts. No guts, no glory. That's what I'm going to say about that. And on that note, y'all. And on that note, make sure that you come back to San Fe. Unscripted.